Okay, the last part of this form that I want to talk to you about is the main part of the lesson. And that falls under this heading, Lesson Procedures, which you will see there are five text blocks with the titles of the 5e model on them. Again, there's more information about the 5e model and how to write activities for these five steps or phases of that um, in the other part of this Canvas course. In these text boxes, after you click on them, um, several tools highlight at the bottom of the page and become available for you to use. You also get access to what's called a teacher's note. The main part of any of this, this, this procedures is explain exactly that. It's explaining an activity to another teacher. Um, use language as if you're talking to another teacher about how to carry out these activities. Um, it's real easy to slip into language where you're explaining it to students because um, that's what you do every day. And so I just like to add that reminder in there. Also, um, it's okay to be conversational in the way that you write uh, and personable. It doesn't have to be too researchy or stuffy or anything like that. Even though we kind of use APA style as our model, um, this is not a research site. It's a resource sharing site. And so um, a level of professionalism is expected, but not um, just it's cool to keep it conversational. When you add a teacher's note, you get several options. Um, these are not following any specific rules. You can use the different colors to kind of highlight different kinds of notes if you like. Um, you get to rename the note anything you want. So if you're adding a note about the rationale behind your activity, the why, it's why you've chosen it, um, how it's going to help stick in the student's mind, then you know, you know, right? Why are we doing this as the title or whatever you like? And then if you're writing a note about, you know, some things, some responses you've seen from students in your classroom to this lesson, you can put sample student responses here. And so give that teacher a little clue about what they're going to get into with that note. We don't want you to put anything that's a main part of the um, instructions for how to carry out this activity in the teacher's note, um, especially if it's going to end up at the end of a long paragraph of instructions because we want those to kind of, they have what they need when they need it as they're reading it. Uh, but any extra side notes, clarification on how to explain a concept, um, those are perfect for this section. And I, again, I, I always encourage you to kind of explore other lessons and see how they use those teacher notes and that might give you ideas about how you can improve the way you explain a lesson that you've carried around you've carried out naturally in your classroom to someone else who doesn't have the benefit of um, talking and sitting with you in person and learning about how you how that's worked for you so lastly there's the resources um, this is just an, a place for you to put together in one place all the all the all the air all the different sites or books or um, articles or whatever it is that has inspired you or helped you put this lesson together we want to give credit where that's due we also ask that you go ahead and cite the strategies from our website here we want you to link to them in any section where you're using them as well as explain clarify how you're adapting that strategy for this specific lesson because many of them are written sort of generally but kind of take on a new form whenever you really apply them in a scenario. So explain how you're customizing it in the section where that belongs and link to it. But also go ahead and link to it down here so that there is that place where everything is together. And that's all we're going to talk about.